This is Gautam Kare from the 3D Vision Group at NVIDIA and this demonstration is about creating a 3D video streaming website using NVIDIA 3D Vision plugin. The NVIDIA 3D Vision plugin package contains the NV Studio 3D plugin DLL and supporting JavaScript NVStream.js. The latest MMP, formerly known as SMF Cellulite Media Framework binaries are also required. This latest framework supports Studio 3D plugins. The website creation would be demonstrated using the Visual Studio Silverlight application template. We will create a solution named NVIDIA plugin dot test. The default options are used here. The template creates two projects NVIDIA plugin dot test and NVIDIA plugin dot test dot web. The NVIDIA plugin dot test contains the player XAMLs. NVIDIA plugin dot test dot web contains the website HTML code. Here is the application's auto generated main page XAML. We will modify this for using SNF. This has the user control and the grid. We will add the namespaces here as SMS for SMS core, SMS M for SMS media, plugins 3D. for Stereo 3D properties. The SMF player asset is added to the control inside the grid. We could name it as my SMF as an example. The playlist can be specified here in the XAML or it can be specified in the XML. This would then need the SMF assemblies to be added to the references. We have created a dependencies folder to hold all the reference assemblies. We will now navigating to the folders and getting those. Here they are. We will now paste them into the dependencies folder. NVIDIA plugin also needs to be added to the references so that the NVIDIA plugin gets picked up for the media for which Studio 3D properties are specified. Let's put it alongside the other dependencies. The supporting JavaScript needs to be added to the web project. This nvstream.js JavaScript is also provided in the NVIDIA plugin package. We will put this in the web project directory alongside the HTML page.
Now let's open the auto generated HTML test page for modifications. The application player app is specified here in the Silverlight application parameter. Client bin slash NVIDIA plugin dot test dot zap. The enable GPU acceleration param and enable HTML access param need to be set to true in the HTML. The nvstream.js supporting JavaScript needs to be included here. This piece of code needs to be added so as to enable the browser plugins. This code snippet can be got from the documentation provided in the plugin package. The player dimensions need to be explicitly specified here rather than tying it with the web browser dimensions. We will now specify the player settings in the init parameters. The playlist item would be specified here. Stereo 3D properties would be specified here for the 3D video. Adaptive streaming is set to true for this particular video. The media source path where the media is hosted is specified here. Since the playlist is specified here in the HTML along with the init parameters, we would need to add a call in the application startup for this to take effect. The app.xaml.cs auto-generated file has the app class, the application startup routine and the application exit routine. We will add a main page member to this class and modify the application startup as shown. The my SMS asset will be loaded with these init parameters specified in the HTML. We will now build the solution. We will now create the deployment package. This has been successfully created here. We will now publish the website application to the local host. IS7 is the prerequisite for this. We will specify the application path for example as NVIDIA plugin test. On the 3D Vision capable user system, this web page, NVIDIA plugin dot test, test page dot HTML needs to be opened in a web browser to watch the 3D video.